to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. We're going to tell the story of The Candles by Hans Christian Andersen. It's about some candles, right? Mm-hmm. So there's mainly about these two candles. There's a wax candle and there's a tallow candle. And maybe they're, they're like in a candle drawer or something. Yeah, probably where they're kept when they're not being burned. Let's, let's uh, assume that this is in a, a wealthy family's house. And they just have a drawer full of candles, different various candles. for a wealthy family's house. Yes. So then the, it, they have like a drawer full of these candles. And, and there is a wax candle. The wax candle is very proud of who he is. Yeah, he's the sh- He's the cream of the crop when it comes to candles back in 1870. It's like, man, I shine better. I'm better than all these other candles. I'm, I'm made out of like the purest wax. There, there is. I'm, I'm cast in like the best mold. I burn brilliantly, and I outlast all the others. My place is in something fancy, right? Yeah. Like a, a chandelier or a silver candlestick. Just like, hey guys, I'm like the top dog here, so mm-hmm. we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and just go out there, and we're gonna shine at a party. Uh, that's the kind of candles that we are. Yeah. And there's a tallow candle the that's tallow also jealous. there. And he's like, yeah, I mean, you're pretty lucky to be made out of wax and stuff. Yeah, like, you're so awesome. I mean, I wish I was made out of wax, but I'm, I'm just tallow. I mean, yes, I'm a tallow candle, but at least I'm not a, a taper candle. A rush light. He's like, it's better, obviously, to be born from wax and made from a mold. But, you know, you can't choose how you're born. You don't, you don't get to pick what you are. So he's okay with that. He's like, I'm satisfied with who I am. Uh, obviously, you're you're meant for chandeliers, but I'm meant for the kitchen. And in the kitchen, there's food. So that's always good. That's a good thing. Yeah. But the wax candles are laughing. And he was like, uh, there's a lot more important things than food, like society. And I, I shine in, this, in the light of society while you are in the kitchen with the food. Mm-hmm. I meant for people to see, right? And there's going to be a ball tonight. Yeah. And guess who's invited? <laughs> Me and all my friends. Uh, my candle, my wax candle friends. And my family. And then all of a sudden... Just as he said that. Someone came for all the wax candles, but then the lady of the house came for the tallow candle. Yeah. He was not left alone. The tallow candle went on a journey as well. So the wax candle and his family, we know that they're headed towards the party. Mm-hmm. The tallow candle is now in the hands of the mistress of the house. So there's a lady of the house, and she's obviously a rich lady. And she, after all the wax candles were, were swept away, she grabbed the tallow candle and she headed towards the kitchen where there was a boy. And she handed the boy some apples and some orange and some potatoes, some apples and some potatoes. And then she <laughs> she gave him the tallow candle and she's like, here you go, boy, my friend, my little friend. My little dude. Uh, this will help you light your way and give it to your mother because I know she's going to work through the night because she did last night. And that's why my dress is here because that's what I think happened. As she said. Late at night, her little daughter was there next to her, and she was like, oh, late at night, I get to stay up late at night tonight, because we're, we're, we're going to have a party. Yeah, and I get to wear my big red bows. So, and at that, she was gleaming like a star. She was very, she was very happy. And the tallow candle that was in the mistress's hand was like, that's happiness. That is happiness right there. I better remember this because it, uh, I'm, I'm never going to see it again mm-hmm. because I'm just a tallow candle and now I'm going on my journey. I wonder where he's going to take me. So the boy takes the tallow candle home and it's the home of a widow and her three children. When she sees the that the rich lady gave her a candle, she was ex- she was happy. She was like the the well to do family. Across the, across the way is, is very generous and uh, she's very excited to have this tallow candle because she knows that she's going to be using it. And she does. She, right away, she strikes a match and she lights the candle. And the match goes, foot, foot. <laughs> foot, 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 foot. The match that had been lit mm-hmm. to the candle smelled like 
terrible. It smelled like sulfur. And the tallow candle was like, oh, man, they would never light the wax candle with this. I bet they use hemp over there. But I guess that's just what I get for being a tallow candle. But then he sees that over across the street where the rich house is um, and where the carriages are riding by, people are dressed in beautiful ball attire and the candles are lit very, very brightly. And he's just wishing he was over there. It's his sad little tallow candle. Everybody could see that there was a party going on. Uh, then the music began, so the tallow candle was like, oh man, they're, they're having a good time. He began burning brighter at the sound of that music because it made him remember about the girl that was like super happy. He was like, I, oh, that's, that's that, that's that, I bet there, I bet that girl's like super happy now because she was just thinking about it then. Now she's in the party and she's super happy wearing her red bows. Mm-hmm. I bet it's amazing. So he lights up at the thought that the little girl uh, is having fun and dims because he knows he's, he's never going to see that again. And then the littlest girl, the poor little girl, goes to her brothers, huddles in with them, and is like, guess I've what? Something really important to tell you, so important that I have to whisper it. Shh. And she's like, this evening, guess what, guys? Got it. It's awesome. It's so, so wealthy. It's not wealthy, <laughs> but <Is this> fancy. <laughs> it's so fancy. We're going to have hot potatoes for dinner. And she was so excited, and she beamed, and the candle saw... Mm-hmm his light upon her and saw that there was pure happiness in her eyes, just the same as the little girl with the red bib, the big red bows. There's no difference in their happiness. So the ribbons make that party that makes that other girl happy. Warm potatoes in this place can make these kids happy. Maybe there is more here than meets the eye. Maybe the poor family doesn't get to have a party, but there is happiness there. And the tallow candle wept tears of tallow because that's all a tallow candle can do. Because he was weeping tears of joy. He was happy that he was living in this house now with that there's potential for more happiness. Um, so essentially he's, he realizes, it's his revelation that he can find happiness where he's at. So at that the family set the table and added the potatoes and all the kids came and gathered at the table and the smallest kid said grace said thank you lord that food was swell after that i'm stuffed as hell. amen and then she beamed to her mom and she's like wasn't that awesome mom wasn't i the best i said the most best prayer and the, yeah so then mom was like she said, don't boast. You don't brag. That's not how it ha- works. You just be happy that you got this, these potatoes and, and appreciate what you got. You'd be, you be happy what God gave you. Even though, you know, I worked up all night long and slaved away. Yeah, you thank God. I was the one that needs the candle to make your clothes to put put a roof over your head. Okay, so it's a poor roof. And I'm, uh, I, I, I don't make that much clothes that I could afford the house next door but i'm doing it all for you kids just be appreciative that's all and the they ate and it was delicious there was an apple for everybody and the potatoes were amazing they were seasoned like perfection (laughs) what they could back then (laughs) they didn't know any better they basically i mean they put salt on it and it was great and the tallow candle was super excited about it, too, because he was there beaming. And the kids went to bed, and they were kissed goodnight, and boom, fell asleep. Just like that. And then Mom stayed up and continued to work on her gowns, or the dresses, all night with the tallow candle to afford the life that they, they led. Although not very glamorous. The place next door, they were partying and having a good time. It was bright, sure, but the stars in the sky shine brighter over everybody, rich or poor. Doesn't even matter. So the tallow candle at that was, I mean, it was like, that was a great night. I wonder if the wax candle, you know, if they had as good a night as, as we had. I wonder if being in that silver candlestick is, is as good feeling as this felt tonight. I hope I find out. I hope I 
know the answer to that question if the candlestick was as happy as I was uh, before I'm burnt out. And how? How would he know if the wax candle had as good as the night? So maybe the the seamstress needs to go across the street and tell them to shut up so she can continue working because their music is distracting. And he's got the candlestick in her hand, and she and maybe he's back there in the other room partying, and and someone else comes in with him, and he sees him pass through the the corridor, and he's like, oh, are, hey, dude, was it great? It's like, yeah, dude, it was super cool. How about you? Or does your family suck? And like, eh. No, they're amazing. There is happiness everywhere. That's that's how their story when they meet again comes to be. Thank you very much.